Okay, so I've been meaning to do this for a while. I had the idea before the before the lockdown here in uh, uh, the UK, and uh, then I kept procrastinating, and it occurred to me that this may be a good time to do this now because one of the few things that people can do, actors at the moment can't act uh, in productions, whether film or theatre, because because it necessitates gathering together. So, but what they can do, and what I think they should do, is to make their own work. Also remember, the audience, you have a captive audience at home, they're all at home, and they're all on the internet. So this is a good time to, and a good way to keep polish your skills and also entertain the people uh, in a very um, in a very sincere way because also at the moment people are afraid and they are they are frustrated and they are not in a good mood uh, but they do but you do have their attention so, so if you take a lovely piece of art share it with them uh, they'll be very grateful to you I think that's been my experience anyway so I've been making poetry videos for a while just to keep my acting skills polished and occasionally people have underneath the videos people occasionally actors have said oh I'm preparing this let's say for a speech or a school play or anything um, and it's nice to hear it spoken in such and such a way and also ordinary members of the public sometimes you if you share something that you act sometimes it's a great piece of literature sometimes it inspires them to which is a lovely thing I think that acting and speaking words beauty uh, poetry should be for everybody um, so anyway so I thought I'd mm, share some of the techniques that I have encountered and the specific way that I put it all together because something that they don't tell you at acting school is they present you techniques in a block like Stanislavski all in one semester um, or any other type technique and then you get the impression that the actors that you idolize kind of do it by the numbers according to a coherent technique and they usually don't if you read carefully interviews and biographies they usually don't they usually end up with a kind of customized toolkit with little patchwork of bits and pieces from here and there and they put it together and it's filtered through their unique personality and then they produce magic for you so uh, I won't, I'm watching the clock, I don't want to go on too long. So I'll begin, I'll, I have a vague plan for how to begin. So I'm preparing a poem now to produce, and it could be anything, it could be a speech, it could be a passage from a book, it could be something that you wrote yourself, it doesn't have to be a monologue. In fact, if it can be a scene, all the better. If you're locked in with people who are interested, or even people who are not interested and just want to have some fun. Um, share it. it doesn't cost you anything make it on your this is my smartphone make it on your smartphone share it on the YouTube so I think I'll try and talk through um, the thing that I'm the poem by it's by uh, Longfellow so it's a, in fact it's a single stanza from a poem it's very short short enough to put on Instagram it should be less than a minute so you can share there you can share on YouTube. I don't have that much success on YouTube. Um, Facebook, wild, wildly successful. Um, so maybe I'll talk through how I prepare that and produce that and every technique that I use um, and the way that I kind of customize it for myself. And then it will be like a real life case study of how one person does things. But then you can choose to do things the same we can choose to do them differently. Um, 
but in any case it will be your unique individuality, hopefully fingers crossed, that comes through.